hello guys welcome to the uh, second video lecture of this series so today we are going to see elastic search and elastic uh, stack training in which we are going to see how to write a log stage filter so this video is a continuous version of the first video if you haven't gone through it please try to watch it and i will try to provide the link in the comment section so if you haven't uh, gone through the first video please go through it and then try to watch this video and if you do not get anything please try to mention it into the comment section and we will look into it if you need any help or if you need anything specific which you want to cover in our lectures please mention it in the comment section okay so let's get started with it thank you guys this uh, joined recently so Sangeet, you want me to give like uh, again basic idea to you in five minutes because otherwise uh, these things might go bouncer to you. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let me uh, quickly finish uh, from starting. Okay, I'll take five minutes. So uh, why, uh, as uh, you know already, why we need to write this regular expression and filters because yesterday we ingested some data into our elastic search. So uh, at that time, as you have seen, whatever logs will generated from our server, it will be directly thrown into Elasticsearch without any kind of modifications. But we do not want these things in production because we want to extract some valuable things which are present in our logs. And to extract the, uh, those fields in log stash pipeline, uh, one more joined. Uh, Dinesh is there okay so to extract those kind of valuable fields we need to write our filters so this filters we are basically going to use uh, this website that we have that is croakdebugherocap.com so till now we have seen two kind of filters so let uh, let me show you the first one okay so the syntax will look like this. So here, instead of syntax, you need to give the name of IP address. So whatever the type of this specific word. So as of now, this is IP address. So what we are going to write is, instead of syntax, we are changing it to IP. And whatever things we will write over here should be written in capital. Okay. And let me give this word name as client IP. Okay, and as in output, we can see client IP equal to this whole IP. So this IP type, so these things, I have already shared that link with you guys and you can use uh, this specific page to determine whether there is IP or word or number so whatever the types of documents that you can find from this page so link has been shared with you okay so this was IP uh, let's say we are working with one word that is uh, get so how will we do it as we know this is nothing but one normal word so we are going to write it as word and we need to give for example a name is method so you can see in output it has extracted this field as method and values get and likewise if we are going to work with one number that is like 3.99 so instead of word we need to give the type as number and output is uh, for example, this is duration time. Okay, and we can see in output duration time is nothing but the number. Okay, so uh, I'll show you the direct example which uh, we have done till now over here. That is uh, this one. Okay. So we can see over here that is for IP address, we are using this specific thing that is IP mm -hmm. colon and 
प्लांट आई पी राहुल राहुल यस राहुल दिस इज संगीत ओके एक्चुअली आई वाज वाज मींस दिस थिंग दिस थिंग्स आर कमिंग व्हेन व्हेनेवर द डेटा कमिंग थ्रू लॉग स्टार्स ना टू इलास्टिक सर्च दैट मींस व्हेनेवर वी आर एडिंग अ डेटा टू इलास्टिक सर्च थ्रू लॉग स्टार्स सो इफ आई हैव सम सर्व Uh, server logs coming from some servers, and uh, okay. if I don't want to use file bit, uh, okay. these things can can I do these these things with uh, some other something like a Spark or something? Uh, Spark or so other tools, I do not have. Like uh, I have okay. a bit, but uh, is there any facilities where you can write like some uh, parsing things over there? Uh, because what I understood is this is uh, using as a filtering of data before coming yes. to Elastic. Yes, something so like that. Tools you uh, have, so uh, I think almost all parsing tools will be able to provide this kind of things, right? So as of now, uh, we are using Splunk also. So in that Splunk also, we have okay. same facility. So we need to write this kind of uh, grok or any other regular expression. So I must, I'm sure that 99.9% these things will be there. And one more doubt is this uh, file bit can we link with only log stash or can we link with uh, some other tools? Uh, file bit, uh, uh, I think we cannot uh, link it with another tool, but we need to check like what kind of things you want to use. For example, if you are having like some PCB port, uh, Dinesh is raising hand uh, one minute, Dinesh. So see, uh, the thing is, file bit can be used to transfer your data by using some like port number that is TCP routing or any other things that you can explore by using Elastic.co website. And if your tool, whatever you are using as a acceptor, if that tool is able to use these things to accept your data, then fine. Then you can proceed with that things. So okay, you need because to uh, like this uh, trial and error. Yes. So Logstash is not use parallel computing processing, na? In Logstash, it is not doing as a parallel computing, na? This processing is. And yeah, means this filtering that. Uh, it, that thing okay. is not uh, computing as a parallel computing, na? It's a sequential processing only, na? Yes, yes, sequential. Okay. So uh, the thing you see, uh, how you will write filters, right? In your environment. For example, you are getting mm. data from different, different like 50 or 60 servers, right? For yeah. each and every servers, for each and every data, you will write uh, like eight to ten filters are enough for this data, right? Then you need to yeah. put that all filters in one folder. So whenever Elastic will be there, it will accept data once your data goes through each and every filters, and whatever filters it find. That is matching with your data. Your data will use that particular filter, and it will get uh, itself filter, and then it will move to Elasticsearch. So it is not like you will use only one Logstash uh, pipeline filter, and data should only move through that things. Okay, so combo of filters will be there. Like currently, we are having like 30 to 35 filters through which our data will pass. So wherever it got match, it will move to Elasticsearch. <coughs> okay. 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 I'll show you this. Uh, okay, I'll show you also. Uh, okay. uh, yes, uh, Dinesh. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, actually, uh, Sangeet, whatever he told, so that's what even okay. I meant. So okay. from file bit, we cannot connect in the file bit dot yml. We cannot connect to the Spark, right? Okay. Uh, because Spark request. So uh, to Sangeet, what I'm trying to tell is from Kafka, we can bring the same data, whatever you are showing in this graph paper. So same data will come. We will make it as an RDD and the same thing, whatever you are applying the regex expression, right? Which we can yes. do via Spark. So now what happens if you are doing via Spark, it will be parallel process. Let's say you have a one millions of uh, log files. So it will be split into multiple parallel processing. Whereas you yes. can do the same thing what you are achieving in Logstash, you can do in Spark as well. And Spark has a capability to write it back to the Elastic Search Index. Yes. So that uh, separate separate things you can try, like uh, Splunk is having one thing that is uh, Splunk Universal Forwarder, and that is uh, free to use. So if you want to use that one also, you can go with this. 
but in each and every logging pipelines these things will be common so you need to always write uh, this kind of a grok expression or regular expressions okay uh, somebody writing some messages uh, hi dinesh can you note okay so get done 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 let me remove this <coughs> okay uh, sangeet for you so i hope uh, these things is clear right so this is one kind of expression which you can use whenever you know what kind of data that you have if you know that this things is proper ip this things is proper word or proper uri path proper number then only you can go with this kind of expressions but when you have data which you do not know like either this ip or word or number or whatever uh, umesh writing something can you unmute me so i'll okay sure sure uh, okay done uh, thanks rahul welcome okay so whenever you know these things from starting then you can go for these kind of things but if you do not know what kind of data you have then what will you do so for that we have one separate kind of regular expression and the syntax is little bit different from previous one let me remove this yes so here what we are going to do is in field name as you can see here we need to uh, write whatever names whatever customized name we want to give to our data for example these things i want to consider as client ip so in field name i am going to give name is client ip then what i have is pattern now here i need to give some pattern let me remove these things okay as we can see in output our grok has already extracted the name that is client ip in that we can see in output but in values it is showing null why because we haven't wrote anything over here so we need to write our regular expressions okay so let us start now we need to think like what all kind of data is there so as of now it is containing digits and dots so only two things are there so what how we can uh, mention these things is two square brackets for digits for decimals we are going to use d slash d and for dot it means it is one kind of pattern itself we are going to use slash dot and after doing this we need to give plus and you can see once you give plus it is retrieving the whole field the whole values okay uh, one more thing i'll show you that is word for example any word we have uh, let's uh, take uh, itc infotech okay so this is one word only and we know no digit is there or no any other thing is there so what we are going to do is simply change over here so let me start give two brackets and plus now we know only word is there so whenever string is there we can use simple slash w and you can see in output we are having client ip and that is ipt uh, itc infotech we can change field name whatever we want as per our requirements okay uh, let's take example of these things uh, if alpha numeric is there for alpha numeric can you tell oh yeah it is infotech underscore 24 okay okay infotech underscore in number 99135 right okay so here as we can see we are having words then one syntax that is underscore and some digits are there so how we will do it word slash d slash underscore and you can see in output everything is being shown uh, but i think even though i remove these things it was showing all the things because it is taking the whole thing as one string that's why we are getting the whole things in output but the best practice is whatever kind of things is there we need to show it over here as regular expressions otherwise sometime it might give us error if we have any 
dots or for example this kind of things of let's say dot is there then again you can see i haven't mentioned dot over there that's why what it is giving is only itc info but after that i have one dot so once i add this dot over here we will be able to get the full word that is itc info tech and 99135 uh clear dinesh yes thank you very much yeah. welcome uh yeah, now yeah, for yeah, example if you want yes any exclusion is possible right means like uh itc.com itc infotech.com is there and okay you just want to print itc infotech yeah that that is possible i'll show you i'll show you in uh, coming things okay but for example if you have any kind of doubt if you want to suggest me to write any regex for any kind of word then you can please let me know in your like questions area or i'll show my own which i have in basket okay uh, uh let's take example okay we are going to write a full grok for a one pattern which i have <coughs> okay so this logs is from one real time uh, log server which we have and as per our client requirement we need to give like a different different name to this thing so he want me to consider whole thing inside a uh, timestamp then mail server is also one separate word then post iphone cleanup uh, post slash cleanup is also one separate word then 21403 is one kind of like uh, duration or byte something and this one is also one separate things and this one is my whole message <coughs> it means total five to six things that we are going to extract from these logs okay so we'll start with the timestamp that is till here so let me remove abc and use timestamp now i'm going to remove the whole things okay now let us see what all things are there that is word is there it means we'll write slash w slash w then we have is a uh, space what we are going to write is slash space then digit is also there slash d then colon is also there then slash colon <coughs> now currently according to our regular expression it is trying to catch all these things also till post fix because we haven't given this slash in our regex so it means regex might think that we are writing our regular expression till this area but once we will write for this server to these things will be removed from over here and only time will be remaining in timestamp okay so let's move further now after this after 43 we are having one space and we do not want to include it anywhere so let's give that as slash space then uh, what is the name of mail server hmm. log source so this is nothing but the log source for us mail server 14 so let's give the name is log source now what all the log source is containing that is word and digits so let us give name as a uh, slash word slash digits and plus again after this we are having one more space so let's give that space a slash s if sometime the logs will be generated in which there might be two or three space in that scenario you might get error so whenever you see this kind of space always try to give if one space is not working then you can give two or three space also to catch the next word but as of now we are having only one one space between all the things okay now after mail server which is our log source we have another thing that is postfix and 
cleanup so what is the name of that thing is program okay so this is nothing but our program that is a post fix slash cleanup so again and program then now we can see word is over there and forward slash is there what we'll do is square bracket slash word slash forward slash and a uh, plus and you can see post fix has been added into program fields now let's say this is nothing but my uh, bytes but uh, as you are asking uh, narana that you do not want to add this uh, things over here that is square brackets you do not want to add right now what we'll do is we will remove these things out of our uh, brackets that is slash and square bracket then here we'll uh, start writing mm, okay name is uh, bytes and we have is uh, slash digits and plus yeah as you can see in bytes we are having 21403 that is 21403 now when we proceed forward we have one more uh, square bracket over here so to remove that we are going to add slash and square bracket again after that we are having one colon so to remove that slash and colon again after that one space we can see so again to go there slash space it means now we have covered till here it means space is has a uh, space also has been covered now starting from this to ending with this area so this much is remaining so what is the name of uh, this one let me check uh, qid yes because as this data is from like one log generator so this is nothing but one id of q so how will we write this so question this one and QID and uh, uh, what we have is we have words and uh, numbers with us okay uh, let me give square brackets words slash and plus let's see yes in QID we are having this full thing from B to 5 so the whole world has been captured in And moving with the next thing we want this whole thing to be captured in our message so what we'll do is so afterwards we are having this small colon so let me change the name to slash colon then we are having one space because we do not want to add the space in our message so I'll cover that by using slash a space and at the end we are having this uh, whole message so i'll give question then uh, in circle that is message now this message is very big so we need to check all the things which we have uh, sorry by mistake i did this brackets over here yeah now uh, after message we can see different different things for example uh, let me give a uh, square brackets from starting now we start from here that is message it is word let's give hmm. okay message is word so let's uh, let us give slash w then we have one hyphen after message let me give slash hyphen moving forward we are having one equal to sign let me give it moving forward we are having one uh, this arrow uh, let me add this then we have uh, some digits with us slash d then one dot i can see after 543 slash dot 
uh, wording already we have given a slash w so not required at the right is there slash at the right then uh, i think one more arrow is there that is at the end and uh, plus as you can see in our output the whole thing has been captured but if our message is like very much bigger and it is containing too many different kind of punctuation how will we writing all these things from starting so instead of this we are having one thing over here that whenever too many different different kinds of punctuation at the red slash dot brackets here and there everything is used then instead of writing all these things just we need to add is dot star uh, question message and so star no my mistake i'm going giving it in outside okay dot and star so now these things will catch the whole world whatever is there with you and after message we are giving it as a star so whatever is there should be able to add uh, let we are getting compilation error let's see what error we have slash colon m e double s a g e i d m e double s a g e the id after that uh, this one let me check if anything i have dot star should be able to catch why this one is here dot star let me check uh, yes so when in logs are uh, too many punctuation it is it will be using then we cannot write all the things one by one like uh, as we did earlier like slash word slash hyphen slash equal to slash arrows here and there so that uh, time we will be using one thing only that is dot star it means it will be able to catch all the things what which are is present in our uh, that much part of our logs but uh, in real time scenario we should not use dot star because when we use this kind of things it will be like uh, give too much impact on our performance because every day this pipeline will be running continuously filters will be there and if we are using dot star for all the filters for all the columns then it will be like a performance issue for us for example instead of writing like 10 to 20000 events per minute in our elastic search it will get reduced to like 5000 or 10000 only so whenever it is possible uh, just uh, try to use uh, only this kind of things slash w slash n slash t whatever and we can see all the things is there in output timestamp log source program bytes qid and message now what we need to do is we need to add these things in our uh, timestamp uh, let's say yes sorry not timestamp a uh, filter so let's say uh, this thing is already ready and this is our syntax so we do not need to remember all this syntax and everything remove this and instead of message you can give directly this whole things that's it so whenever you will receive few logs using file bit by using port number 5000 it will filter initially by using this grok so whatever data you have that is matching this pattern it will go through these things then as a output it will move to elastic search on your local host 9200 it will be able to create new index and you will be able to see all the extraction in your pipeline filter also so whenever you run your pipeline in output you will be able to see this if you have written standard out codec ruby uh i hope i'm clear uh, if you have any questions any doubt uh, let me know you can uh, raise your hand uh, if you are mute i'll unmute you So uh, I think uh, no doubts, right? Okay, those who do not have any doubt, uh, please raise your hand now. Narana, uh, no, 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 I think something. Okay, Sangeet clear, Baswaraj clear. I'm also clear, Rahul. 
okay thank you uh, okay so if uh, everyone uh, do not have any doubt let me give you one thing to write we'll see if you are facing an issue i'll help you uh, i'm removing this and if i have okay i'll uh, stop uh, sharing my screen and uh, uh, i'll mail this documents to uh, uh, narayana umesh and uh, dinesh uh, you can please uh, share with uh, everyone me open google mail yes start dinesh dinesh iranki umesh umesh for do narayana mail is not there narayana dot mail at the right city dot 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 at the right Mm. Okay, I'll stop sharing my screen. Once you received email, please confirm. Uh, okay, a uh, mail has been sent and visible now. Visible now. Yeah. Okay. So the thing that you need to extract is. the whole time stamp from here then syslog host you can give any other name then uh, starting from here you can see for each and everything we are having one value let's say for silans product we have uh, no silans product is also like one common word that also you need to give your own customized name but starting from event type event type is nothing but device event name is nothing but system security device name is nothing but got r90 something is there so in my output i want you to write some regex in such a manner that these three word time syslog host and silans protect colon this should be in one separate separate word and after that this like device should be uh, shown as event type system security should be shown as uh, event name device name this is got is nothing but device name then it should be in the field device name likewise we have uh, all kv store kind of file is there okay so if you didn't get the requirement please let me know otherwise uh, you can start writing here if you do not have this website i'll share it here hey guys uh thank you for watching the tutorial and uh, please mention in the comment section if you like this video if you want to add anything extra if you have any uh particular logs if you want me to extract some field for you if you want me to write regular expression for uh, you please give it in the into the comment section and let me know what you want into my next tutorial so thank you for uh watching it thank you guys